Good morning and welcome, Jelly Cube, and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with an acrylic pour. Um, this is a 60 by 30 canvas. I love working on this size of canvas. Um, and I am at the moment doing a, just a base coat in my normal acrylic pouring mix. Ingredients in the drop down box underneath this video. Everything you need to know is there. Um, so this color is called Skin Tone. Um, it's not my skin tone and it's probably not your skin tone, but that is the color that it's called. And I actually did dilute the color down a little. So I am starting off with, it, it's a, um, I made these paints up and I put them in any um, leftover containers I have. So it will store the paint and keep them fresh. So this was just a purple by Global Colors. It was purple and now I'm doing, I think this is called ultraviolet. So it's just a lighter purple. So I have intentions on definitely creating a very delicious um, colored pour. I call my custom color Berry Delicious. Um, so this one is gonna have all beautiful Berry Delicious colors in it. Uh, what color we got coming up? Oh, okay, this one is, it is a magenta. And as I said, they're all pre-made up with my pouring media. So I'll just layer the colors as you see, trying to do a little bit different composition for this particular one. Okay, a nice deep red there. I'm not sure if it's cool red or warm red. I don't know what the darker one is, but that's what color this one is. So as you see, just layering all the colors on there. This one is, um, again, it's a lighter, it's the, um, oh my goodness. I'm actually doing a voiceover and I can't remember. It was a bright orange and it might've even been fluoro orange. So uh, not a berry color, but it is still citrus. It's an orange, like a tangerine and it's beautiful. So I love that color too. And it goes so nicely with these other berry delicious colors. And finishing off with a smidgen, a smidgen of white to um, finish those particular colors off. Now, what I'm doing now is just doing a gentle tilt. So as I get the sides of my canvas um, with those lovely yummy colors down the sides of the canvas and basically just making sure there's a nice even layer of your colors. So when you're doing this part of the process, just really lean into it and relax, take your time. There's no rush. Uh, remember your art room, your rules, your way. So just enjoy, enjoy the process. Um, yeah, no rush. So okie doke, next stage, I do want to put a bit more of that a pale skin tone on there to make sure that I've got enough um, on there that will create my next, um, gosh, I've forgotten the words. So it'll actually create a nice skin for the next stage that I'm going to do for, for a swipe. So it's just um, putting a little bit extra paint on and now what I have mixed in, in that container is Amsterdam turquoise um, and Floetrol only. And that was from the Capriole Shabby Chic. If you're looking for an online supplier, um, underneath in the drop down box, and also there's my Amazon stores there. So it doesn't cost you any extra. Uh, 
for ordering on my Amazon, but I do get a little bit of commission from Amazon. Um, so just to let you know, uh, what I'm doing is I've just put that on the very top of my canvas and I intend getting my soft plastic file divider and swiping down the whole thing nice and easy, just nice and slow, just like I would go down a ski slope, <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> Trousers, trousers this camera does not pick up those million trillion beautifully formed lacy cells but it is absolutely gorgeous and I will be bringing the camera down shortly to let you have a look at the lovely laciness of it all um, you're probably thinking she's gone crazy what is she doing putting that blue there I probably could have put a really dark berry swipe or I could have put white but I just thought go with the blue it was something was in my head and so I just had to do it and um, I am happy that I did it you've got to try things you've not got to stick in the same old patterns you've got to try new things and you've got to try and do things your way so that's what I did I'll bring you down now oh of course oops before I bring you down I've decided to get the balloon and um, give it just a very few very delicious um, balloon kisses and some embellishments in there. This is uh, absolutely gorgeous. I thoroughly enjoyed creating this piece in my own little zone there and it comes out just wonderful. And now for some, uh, just the little, it's just a normal size balloon, just with a little bit of water put into it to give it a little bit of weight to actually kiss in the center of my previously kissed flowers or whatever you'd like to call them. Um, it just gives a little bit more detail and always comes out beautiful. So yeah, very happy with this piece. Just adding a bit of white in here. Um, I just thought it needed to have a little bit more white. So I've just added the white as you've seen and I'm just gonna go in with the balloon and just add some other points of interest in there. It looks like I'm pressing that balloon in and it's lifting up most of the color, but then look how it starts to create those gorgeous effects on your canvas.
looky looky i'm very happy with this it is beautiful um the colors turned out absolutely wonderful i'm really really happy with it so it has dried beautifully now and you will see some photos of the dried product at the end so thank you my lovelies and bye for now okay here is a close-up of those absolutely gorgeous magnificent juicy berry cell very delicious absolutely so just did a bit of a different composition um, I just love it it's really gorgeous I don't mind that little blue bit of blue at the top um, it's perfectly fine and I just love how this turned out so as it's drying a bit further like I've said often before you can before you um, balloon kiss you work you can leave it for a good half an hour and come back and balloon kiss it providing your paint is the correct consistency you will get some beautiful effects in it um, so if I need to just go back in after it's dried for about half an hour and just re-kiss some areas then I will but at the moment it's looking really just lovely very very happy with that that was a 60 by 30 canvas and I'm pretty sure that's going to dry perfectly fine so it would absolutely deserve a nice coat of either um, varnish or resin whatever you choose okie doke that's all for now and I'll be back tomorrow so please take care of yourselves and um, yeah get in and do some art enjoy